This is a 2013 Nissan Leaf, and we have a real oddball issue with the uh, uh, coolant pump. Uh, so this car is throwing in a code for uh, the water pump that's down here, uh, and it was sort of running on and off uh, now and then uh, before. And uh, check this out. So currently, the pump is running. We have the voltage down of the pump, and the current into the pump. We're just uh, running it manually. Uh, the car has nothing to do with the pump, it's just a jury rigged for the battery. And you can see it's running just fine. If we disconnect the battery, plug it back in, it's going to take a few moments, and there you can see the current jumping up. And the pump starts up just fine. Doesn't sound bad, sounds completely fine, doing its job. So clear the coolant. You can see my jury rigging down there. So the car's not hooked up at all. So now the pump is running just fine. But check what happens when we turn on the car. Again, the car has no control over the pump. It's literally just hooked up to the battery. The car starts up just fine. Um, the coolant pump is still running, now the other one's kicking in as well. Uh, and we have a higher battery voltage. Now check this out. We disconnect this pump. Uh, give it a few moments to just uh, die completely. Uh, and now we try to start it up again. So we have 14 volts in the battery. And now the pump does nothing. It will not start when the car is running. So when the battery voltage is like above 13-ish volts, the pump will not start. So what's been happening to the customer is any time the car like has a slightly discharged battery when it starts, the pump will work fine. But if they haven't been, you know, listening to a radio or something, uh, so the car just jumps in something up to 14 volts on startup, the pump won't go. <laughs> and I've been just testing and it seemed all dead. And then I turned off the car and it started working. So no wonder this has been intermittent. Uh, the pump's going to come out. It's an obvious diagnosis that uh, it's actually the pump that's dead. But uh, that was a bother f finding out because it just was working fine for the most part. Yeah, it's just going to keep on being dead now. Uh, if you want to jury rig one of these pumps uh, on this particular model, uh, leaf will be pump mounted in this direction, uh, you want uh, uh, your positive lead, like a battery positive, on the top pin toward the side of a car, and your negative pin on the bottom pin toward the side of a car. So you have a uh, positive on the top, negative on the bottom. Also, here's a curious footnote. Uh, the uh, coolant pumps from uh, a 2015 Tesla Model S seems to be uh, the same exact unit as you find in the 2012 Leaf. Uh, all the plastic mouldings seem to be uh, exactly identical. And uh, I've done some testing with the uh, post supply and signal gen, and they seem to behave damn well near identically. Uh, the pinouts on the connectors are the same and uh, you see the same, uh, they, they respond the same to a 2 hz PWM signal on uh, the uh, bottom left pin from uh, this direction and they put out uh, this, uh, a, what seems to be basically just a pass-through of that signal on the top left pin from this view uh, and they both seem to do exactly the same thing, respond to the same uh, uh, signal with the same uh, change in RPM so if this pump doesn't work I don't think it's going to work well I'm just going to put a Tesla pump in the leaf. Yep and that's the uh, Tesla pump installed it uh, seems to be responding just fine I've been playing around uh, control the pump uh, the car seems to control pretty much exactly the same as that one and exactly the same as the original one I haven't gotten any fault codes yet uh, so I'm pretty sure you can just uh, shove a Tesla pump into a leaf if you want to. There you go, useful info.